Okay. Hello, it's Tara Brabazon again, and I'm still answering those questions about PhDs from the Twitterverse. And my next question is from Matthew Homer. Hi, Matt. Hope you're well. And Matt asks, again, great question. How can I be confident that I've selected a project that will maintain my interest and enthusiasm over the next four years? Firstly, Matt, the idea that you're asking that question, I think, demonstrates you're just about ready for a PhD, because I think you've realised that a lot of people choose a topic that's a bit quirky or, oh, let's do that, and it can't sustain them. Finding a sustainable topic is actually the most important thing you would do. So what I would ask is you write down on a big piece of paper all the topics, all the ideas, all the questions that really interest you, and then start to cross out the ones that might just be a passing interest for you. Also so I think it's really important that you impose the who cares, who gives a damn question. So in other words, it might be of interest to you, but will it actually be useful to you in terms of an academic career? So I think what you need to do is think about your future, why you're getting a PhD, who you want to read it, and what's the purpose of it in five, 10 or 20 years time. So I think that's how you sustain the interest. It must be something you're passionate about, it must be. But it also must be about more than just you. It must be about you in the future, allowing yourself the multiple trajectories and developments that you so deserve. And can I just offer one final suggestion? Do not do your PhD on the area that your master's was on. Don't do it. It's an easy, easy choice, and I've seen it so often go wrong. So pick something new, fresh, innovative, creative, imaginative, and something that's also a little bit future-proofed.